aqua gang 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 what it do you see how big this fire is what <laughs> okay i'm gonna get to that in a minute what it do you guys it's your girl ember 777 here today with a general love message for my Aquarius soul family. You see how much strength it took for me to put the fire out? Are you kidding me right now? This person is out of control. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I hope you're doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Holy angels and spirit, guys, please give us exactly what we need to know. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. These messages are general, guys, okay? So they may or may not resonate. Take what resonates. Use the rest. I mean, leave the rest. <laughs> leave the rest for whoever it's for, okay? Use your intuition to guide you um, towards the messages that are here for you today and then leave the rest for whoever it, it is here for you guys. That's how that goes, okay? Take a moment and click that like button if you don't mind. It only takes a second. I appreciate those of you who always do it. I, it doesn't go unnoticed. Y'all be holding a girl down. It helps our channel tremendously. Um, and it is our channel, guys. It's our platform. It helps our family grow. So I appreciate that. Um, and click the subscribe button, you know, if you want to. If you want to make it official. Become a part of the family officially. All right. Get, get invited to the cookouts, you know, and the whatnots. Then go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And that's that on that. Now. Where do I even begin? Where do I begin? Where do I begin? I don't know why y'all do this to people. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm acting like I don't do it too. <laughs> I'm acting like I'm not an Aquarius too. I am, I am. <clears throat> Here's the issue, right? I feel as though people get very intrigued with the mystery that is the Aquarian, okay? Um, we can come off very mysterious, and especially in romantic relationships. And people get intrigued, they wanna know more. And I feel, you know, a lot of people want to describe us as being like detached or non-committal sometimes or unemotional when that is hardly the case. That's far, far, far from the truth. It is, it is. It's far from the truth. We, I like to describe us more like, <sighs> if all the Zodiacs were, were a brand, a luxury brand, we would be Hermes, right? We are the most exclusive brand. Everybody can't, you can't just roll up into Hermes and let me get a Birkin. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't. I mean, is there even a list? Who knows, right? Like, <laughs> Okay, uh, that's a girl thing. For the guys, we could do more of the cards, right? Like, I would consider us more on the level of a, a, a Bentley, okay? More on the level of a, a Lamborghini, right? More up there, more up there. More exclusive than your average. And the exclusivity means that not everybody can afford one. And even if you can afford it, bitch, even if you got every single penny, okay, down to the last cent in your bank account, that still don't mean that you can have one, bitch, right? That still don't mean you'll even know where to find one. That still don't mean you'll even be able to get in contact with the right person to, to find out which store, where, where it will be and where it's going to be located at. Lots of mystery surrounding acquiring one. So that's the misconception. Now y'all correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I'll wait, I'll wait. That is not a lie. That is what distinguishes things that are easy, easily accessible versus things that are considered to be luxurious. And even luxuries have Levels. There's levels to this shit. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, it's levels to this shit. It's levels to this shit. It's a hierarchy here. So no, Aquarians are not non-emotional. Fuck yeah, we have emotions. But guess what? Everybody don't get to see that shit. Everybody doesn't. Yeah, there's a mystery around it. Is it there? Is it? Is it? I don't know. Was it? Oh, really? I said I loved you. Did I? Did I? Are you sure? <laughs> Y'all know I'm not bullshitting. The emotions are very much so there. And if 
you happen to be one of the lucky ones to acquire an Aquarian's emotions, you damn sure better hold on to it. Hold on to that shit for dear life. Help handle it with very, very delicate care. Okay? Don't try to throw that shit in the washing machine. You can't even take that shit to dry clean. You need to take that shit right back to the actual place where you got it from and let them do a self cleaning, okay? Handle it with very special, detailed care. It's not to be handled like the rest. And I mean that on um, period. But anyway, that's just a little talk that only only we would understand. And I feel like that is what this individual who is showing up here is struggling with. OK, and the struggle, baby boy, baby girl, the struggle is real, honey. It's real. It's real. In fact, I feel like this is somebody who maybe have this is this gives me the energy of a person who might have described themselves as being a player or somebody who was non-committal or somebody who was detached or somebody who was able to just move on if things don't work out, not get too invested, no strings attached. They were, I'm almost sure this is somebody in their mind who thought that you were gonna be the one who would chase after them or come see about them or at least be intrigued <laughs> by their disappearance. Because for some of you, I feel like this may have been somebody who detached themselves abruptly, ghosted, rejected. They may have done something to kind of get a response out of you. Either they started an argument or they, you know, did something that I just listed, whatever the example might be. And it did not gear the response in which they thought that they would get from you. And that has confused them. Okay? This is one of many times that you have confused this person. You are a great mystery to this person. In fact, they can't understand why they haven't been able to capture you in the way that you've been able to capture them. Now, if you do not know that you've captured this person, there you have it. Like, there we go. I, I done spilled all the beans, the cornbread, all of it. Okay. Little mashed potatoes, gravy, cornbread, <laughs> macaroni and cheese, candy yams. <laughs> I spilled that whole damn thing. They are fighting it. It's almost as if they're in like astonishment. Okay. When the feelings and the thoughts and the, the desires come when they come to, okay? Because I feel like they don't recognize that they're thinking about you, but then when they come to and they realize that they're thinking about you, right? Or they don't realize that they're checking their phone every couple of minutes, but then when they come to, right? Or they don't realize that they're talking their friends' heads off about you, but then when they come to, or when people bring it to their attention, they start freaking the fuck out inside you guys. They do. This is not their normal behavior. This is not their normal behavior. This is not how they do things. Okay. It's not. This is very much so somebody who is, they are used to being able to just move on. Okay. If things don't work out or if somebody is not into them. Now I do feel like you were into this person at one point in time. I do. I feel like initially um, you may have sought for this person. I don't feel like it got to the point where you fell in love. You may have had had a had a tinge of love for some of you. Don't force it to fit, right? There's a difference between like, oh, I have love for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish nothing bad on you. There's a difference between that and I'm like in love with you. I want you to birth my babies, bitch. Like I want you to, I want to birth your babies, dude. Like I want to be with you and only you. It's just you and I to the end of time. There's a difference. We can all agree on that, right? So there's some kind of behavior that this person has been portraying. This is a t the type of individual who I feel it makes them feel good to be able to get people to love them and still not have feelings while people are loving on them. They like that. They almost have a very competitive spirit 
like nature in that in that sense you guys so this is a very um like win or lose type of per person they view all situations in life in that in that perspective you either winning or you're losing in anything in life so if i wake up in the morning and I go and press the Keurig machine and shit comes out. I'm winning, bitch. If I go and press it and that shit is not working, I'm losing. Right? If I go to make a phone call and somebody answers, I'm winning. If they ignore my phone call, I'm losing. It goes on and on and on and on, etc., etc. Okay? And it's very much so the same in romantic connections when it comes to this individual. Okay, so in their opinion, just much like a game of bowling, right? Any game, just like a game, you're either winning or you're losing. And this person almost views, like this person almost feels like a gamer to me. They almost view relationships like they have a high score. Okay, they've been on a winning streak. They are, they, nobody has beat their high score except you bitch and they cannot figure that shit out like who are you you alien you have baffled this person you've bewildered them it is something that has come very unexpected because as i stated you may have given this person signs that you were interested yes and they may have even read you incorrectly okay I might stretch to say that as well. They may have read you incorrectly, meaning instead of reading your interests as just simply that, I'm interested, I'm willing to hear you out and see where things go, they read more into that interest. They read into it more like, I'm really into you, like I'm digging you, I'm dropping everybody else and it's just gonna be me and you, I'm, committing, I'm willing to commit to you. That's how this person viewed it. And that's also how they set themselves up, if, in my opinion, if I do say so myself. That's where they drop the ball. See, this individual, you know, they didn't quite realize that they were dealing with someone who is more on the spiritual level, okay guys? We have the high priestess here. So this is a spiritual connection that you have with this person. For some of you, this is a soulmate. It may be a karmic soulmate, but nonetheless, there is a soul tie here. The two of you are engaging with one another on a soul level. This would also be why you felt anything towards this person at all. Now, for a great majority of you, Whatever fire was there went away very quickly. And I saw that when I was lighting the Palo Santo. It lit up and then it, it unlit very fast. <laughs> I was like, okay, I thought we were ready to go. And then you saw as I, as I began the reading how huge that fire was. That was the energy of your person. So yours, it did light. But it went out very quickly. So this person turned you off. They did. So you were attracted to them. You may have felt something, a little something, but their antics, which usually work on other people, okay? Basics. Yeah, we could say it. Basic people. Basic, 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 basic bitches. Okay? Okay. It didn't work. It turned you off, it turned the fire off. You may have turned your attention away from this person. For some of you, you may have just stopped engaging entirely. Um, no longer attracted, no longer interested, Blech, meh. You know, that kind of energy. And their interest in you has ignited into this huge fire. You saw it, you guys, you did. It almost, it was damn near about to burn my fake ass plastic acrylic nail off, okay? Hello. So this person is viewing this as like, hmm, this is something that is coming out of left field, that they have feelings for you. It is something that is out of their direct territory. They don't know how to navigate this. They, they may be trying to come up with some ways to get out of this, right? Like, ugh, get out of this, this energy, right? Their friends are sick of hearing about you. They are sick of finding themselves either thinking about you or hoping that you will contact them or 
looking at their phone consistently, writing texts and then deleting them, that type of obsession. I don't get the idea that they're moving just yet because the high priestess is silent. Right? That pride is like, fuck me. You mean I'm in love? <laughs> you mean I'm in love, bitch? What? Okay? So it's almost as if, like I said, they've been on this, this streak, non-committal. Okay? They love them and leave them. And they've had this high, they've had the high score. They've never been beat. Nobody's beat the high score. And they hit the fuck you come, right? So they're trying to figure it out. Um, child, this is a mess. This is also someone who can energetically feel that you have lost interest. And that is something that scares them because now what? Like, what do they do with their feelings, you know? They don't know. They may have never been in love before, you guys. I'm gonna be very honest with you, okay? The high priestess can signify, like, the unknown. This is unknown, uncharted territory for this person. They may even feel like, well, you're some kind of voodoo priestess or some shit. Like, how'd you get me to fall in love, bitch? How? Huh? What are you doing over there? Wow. <laughs> Ciao. See? Damaged. Mm. Yeah. So that card is definitely very much so mirrored, you guys. This is somebody who, who you know, because of their own demons their own shadows their own things that they need to work through they have a very damaged outlook and perspective on love in general and this is why they don't want to touch it with a 10-foot pole it, right they view that if you're in love that you're losing that's how this person operates and this damage card also signifies that mindset is exactly what turned you the F off because it had them acting out in very absurd ways. This person may have taken you through a lot of ups and downs, ins and outs, right? Like with this uniform card, um, that's the energy of like somebody who feels like they are a, of higher rank than other people, especially with this, you know, uh, I have the high score, bitch, like I'm winning, you know, you need to get on my level type of energy that, you know, dealing with somebody like that, you never know what's coming your way. You never know what kind of tactics they may try to use to one up you or to, you know, keep you on your toes or to trigger you or to, you know, get you out of character or to try and, you know, win. That's that's all that they're focused on. So that definitely turned you off to the it damaged this connection and it damaged the ability for there to be any longevity. Mm-hmm. Deception. Wow. Travel and communicate. So I feel as though there, the distance between the two of you is, it, 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 be, it came abrupt and with a vengeance. This person does want to communicate. They do want to talk to you. They do want to speak to you. But they're tricking themselves, right? Like they're trying to trick themselves out of believing in the emotions that are clearly here. We, I, I, I just said it. They're deceiving themselves for sure. Because picking up the phone, calling you, breaking the silence, it's definitely silence, you guys, with the high priestess. There's no talking here. They want it with they want it so bad, but they want for you to do it because if they do it, then they lose. Oh my god. I 
cannot with this person, y'all. I can't. I cannot. I can't. So what are you going to do, dummy? Like, I'm done. I, I can't go back and forth with you. This is stupid. And I can clearly see why Aqua had to get the fuck on. I do. For some of you, you may have saw very quickly that this was a time waster. Somebody that was going to waste your time. And for others of you, it may have taken a little while for you to realize. Right? You may have um, stuck around based on what you wanted to believe and not what you actually saw. That was spirit's words, not mine. Don't beat me up. Don't you beat me up in the comments. That's what they said, guys. Wow. So be prepared, you guys. This person may try to show up if they know places that you frequent. Okay, like if they know where you go to the gym, if they know where you go to the grocery store, if they know where you, if they know like places where you'll be, places where you normally hang out, they may try to coincidentally show up there. Okay? <laughs> coincidentally. Only take that if it resonates and don't underestimate this individual, you guys. They have tried to hide their obsession with you for a long time but it's it's most certainly there even if you don't realize it it is wow now if they do show up coincidentally they will not speak because then that means they lost remember no they won't but they will show up and try to be in the same vicinity so that you will speak and then they won they it's a win-win that's what i heard okay so that's a win-win for them they need to be at least be in the same vicinity being i be an eye shot be be within eye shot <laughs> of you okay wow Mm -mm -mm. They feel like if you see them, then that will ignite the fire again and make you want to speak to them or make you want to make a move or communicate with them or um, chase them, initiate, be the first to move. It's like a standoff. This is crazy. See, look at this. And, and, and I don't believe that that's what will happen. I don't. Mm -hmm. so with mature woman here you guys gender doesn't matter this is definitely someone who views you as the more of uh, mature person in the connection um they both admire and despise it because sometimes when you would be the bigger person it puts you in the position to win and them lose when that's never their intention they always want to win and other times your mature um, energy would be more nurturing for that ego of theirs, right? Um, they're wanting more of the, the nurturing aspect of your maturity because they feel very vulnerable with these emotions. They don't know what to do with them. They want you to coddle them, make them feel better, like tell them that it's going to be okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am not, I'm not gonna do this with y'all. Now, who the fuck is laughing? Tell me down in the comments because I am not laughing at this. <sighs> That's what I just heard, y'all. Gender doesn't matter. They want you to like show up. Like, doesn't this look like a, a nice, sweet, like somebody's mama, somebody's parents, somebody's daddy, somebody's granny, somebody's grandpa, like the older person, like the person who's more wiser. And the person who it, who knows more about this thing. And the thing is love. And this is somebody who wants you to make them feel better about feelings that they know nothing about. They want you to tell them that their feelings are okay, right? And that it's okay that they feel those feelings because you feel those feelings as well. How do I know that? We have a six there, right? Six is about... Balancing, even, even equal give and take, reciprocation. They want you to reciprocate those feelings, nurture it, pour into it, right? 
this is crazy. Ciao. Ciao, 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 I can't. I cannot. Wow. They're nervous, y'all. They are nervous. This is something that they have never, ever experienced in their life. They are almost scared, you guys. They are. Like, they're scared to change how they've always been. I feel like they go in and out. Like, on some days, they can, like, remember some of the good times that the two of you may have shared and had and, like, be able to have happiness in those moments right and be like wow damn like I really love Aqua like <laughs> you know he was really good to me you know she was really like she was a real good girl like wow you know and, and have like moments like that and then other days they are batshit crazy because where the fuck are you like well, what are they going to do about it? Yeah, you were a good girl. Yeah, you were you were a good man to them. You were good to them. You was a good dude, but you're not here anymore. And now all I have to, now all I can now all, all I have is my my thoughts. That's it. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> right? Wow. This is unfortunate. I heard a series of unfortunate events. We need to get them a Netflix show. <laughs> For sure, right now, sign a contract. I need it. Somebody need to write it up. I can't do this. I can't. Look, they want like they want to just do the whole thing with you now. It's like now they they don't want to play no games. Oh, now you breezy. Now you breezy and you and you dreezy. You drinking and breezy, right? They don't want to play no games. Okay, fuck around, give you their last name, take your last name, however you want to do it, right? I can't take this shit. They want to have a family. They want to cult. They they like see it all now. It's almost as if they're having like visions. Okay. This is deep, 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 deep. Yeah, with this travel card, that's what I'm hearing. Like they're almost like time traveling. They're having visions, and I feel like spirit is like playing with them. I'm not. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not. I feel like spirit is playing with them. Yeah. Yeah. Because what they didn't know is that you're highly protected. And because, yeah, ma'am, sir, bro, sis, bring your ass. Bring your ass. You like playing games, right? You have the high score. Now play with the highest of the high. How about that? Oh, no. You don't play no more? You don't play no more? Why? Why? Why you don't play no more? That's what I feel. And the game spirit is playing is that emotional roller coaster, right? It's the visions. Because some visions are of the two of you like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Right? And then other visions are of y'all with somebody else like this. <laughs> I'm done. I can't do this, right? Like they it, it's they get both. They get visions of what life could be like with you and what life would be like without you. And they're getting both and, and it's tormenting them and they don't really know how to feel like they're in and out. Whew. But you wanted to play. Come on. Uh, it's recess, bitch. Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> Let's play. Let's play. I play to win, bitch. That's what, that's what the divine said. Okay, and I'm finna dead you. Like, you're done. I'm, I can't. I can't with you. I cannot with this. We will have new love in the extended for sure because your new love already showed up here. For some of you, you've already distanced yourself from this person. Like I said, the fire went out of the Palo Santo rather quickly. So you may have already met someone else or you're on your way to meeting someone else, right? So we have two different couples here. That's not a lie. Okay, that doesn't mean that it's going to end for all of you either. I will look at both potential outcomes, but baby, this person is definitely trying to finagle something. But it's, it's the crazy thing is whilst they are being guided intuitively to try and change, okay, these emotions and things that they have never felt before that they don't know how to navigate. This is cause and catalyst to change, ma'am, sir, bro, sis. 
This is a transformation. This is a this is spirit literally giving them a chance to choose the change before a tower moment. But this person is still choosing the bullshit. You see what I'm saying? And that's why they they still don't want to just communicate with you. They still don't want to just break the silence themselves. They still don't want to just be the mature one, be the bigger person. They don't. They don't. They want to try to finagle it, finesse it. Right. Like get do it in a way to where, yeah, we're still in the same room. But I'm still not going to speak to you. I'm still not going to. You, they still want to win in a sense. <sighs> and Spirit is like, oh, you still want to play, huh? Hmm. Hmm. And I feel like it's going to bring them to their knees, you guys. We have Coffin. Now, Coffin is the end. That's the death card. Chow, 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 chow. I'm going to clarify that a coffin in the extended because the death card can either signify they actually transformed meaning they they took <laughs> the signs that were cautioning them and actually hopped on this this damn buggy okay and got their shit together for the sake of the union and the connection and a soulmate right like actually doing things correctly not doing the same shit over and over and over again isn't that insanity or a coffin can signify guys dark night of the soul end game you're done finish up right and i feel like the divine for some of you is on some finish them shit especially with two couples here i ain't even it, it is not a game it's not a game it's not a joke so let's go on over to the extended i am i'm i'm interested in this okay okay it's spicy spicy lots of drama okay uh we will definitely see let's see what regrets this person has if any okay because they're moving funny still but that will at least signify if there's some remorse there which will also give us an idea if they are going to start shifting in a way to show up the way that they need to for you okay let's also see what karma they are scheduled to face in the near future because <laughs> i'm nosy and we got the coffin card here dummy you want to play games now all of this saying you don't want to play you want to play with spirit hmm 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 little one you don't want to play okay so and then we're going to see what changes they have definitely made okay that's going to signify if they have in fact transformed and ascend it um then we'll go ahead and see what their next steps are going to be as well as their intentions so that you can prepare yourself that's more for you and we'll look at the potential outcome there's no judgment guys right everybody's not trying to just throw their person to the wayside i'm going to look at both um whether you decide to re-engage with this person or go in the opposite direction which is new love i'm going to look at both potential outcomes and then i also want to see what blockages need to be removed so that you can ensure that you are invisible to all toxicity and lower vibrational energies as you're moving towards this next cycle i also want to see how spirit suggests you remove those blockages asap with the quickness like right now okay and then we're gonna get right into your new love message all right <laughs> i am feeling the new love energy right it's bubbling up you have two offers here there are two couples here so let's see what those be beautiful new energies are that are approaching you how will you know which one is, is is right for you which one is your person what is the exact sign or synchronicity that spirit is going to give to you to signify the person to focus your time and energy and efforts on um, what's the most attractive quality about this person what will they find most attractive about you why are they single according to the divine that's gonna be the truth not what they're telling you they could tell you whatever what does the divine say um i also want to see what the chemistry is like between the two of you in and out of the bedroom what is the potential for things to go all the way in the near future with you and the new love okay is there union that's possible and longevity for you guys all right and then we will get advice on how you can bring your desired life okay of happiness abundance fulfillment in all areas okay everything that you've wanted and been trying to manifest how to bring that to fruition in the least amount of time like right now like tomorrow what does spirit suggest you focus on all right we will get all of that but first click the like button as well as the subscribe button and <laughs> i'm gonna put the link down below in the description box y'all we're gonna cut up this is <sighs> I i'm gonna see y'all over there i'm gonna see y'all over there i'm gonna see y'all over there all right